Good morning. I pray that there shall be showers of blessing upon your life in the name of Jesus. I welcome you once again to Daily Love for Jesus devotional. And today on our devotion, we shall consider life approved for God's story. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 4 to verse 8. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming, and said, Comest thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord, sanctify yourselves, and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons, and called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass, when they were come, that he looked on Eliab, and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord one thing people knew about God is that God is cool. And of course, a good tree cannot produce a bad fruit. So when God writes a story, he will not write a bad story. He will definitely write a good story. And he will not use a bad man, someone that has a bad character, to write a good story. No, no, no. Now, God wants to write a story about his kingdom in Israel. The anointing was ready. The prophet was ready. But there should be an available man that God will pour out that anointing upon so that the story he wants to write about Israel can come to pass. Samuel he saw a very wonderful man, an handsome man, giant man, and he wants to anoint the man, Eliab. God said, no, you don't anoint that man. I have refused him. Eliab's life was totally disapproved by God to write the story of God. Why is it that God is so concerned about the heart of man? Any story that God wants to write, he will write it first in the heart of the man. Jeremiah 31 verse 33. God is good in finding out a good heart. And a good heart contains four major characteristics. Number one, a good heart contains the thoughts of God. Two, a good heart preserves the thoughts of God. And three, a good heart concretizes the thoughts of God. And number four, a good heart communicates the thoughts of God. Now think of it. Many people carry the heart that change the thoughts of God, such as the heart that that deletes the thoughts of God. That means whatever that God puts in that heart through instruction, through the word of God, the messages that he listens to, whatever God puts in that heart, it can be totally deleted by the virus of the fowls of the air, which came to dwell in, their, in that heart. This is because those thoughts will not be allowed to go deeper. They will not be allowed to grow. Why? Because of the cares of this world. Every drop of the thoughts of God will be choked up. That is why you see Christians that they are not fit to write the story of God. I pray that your life will be fit to write the story that God wants to write in the name of Jesus. Now with the things that is going on in your heart, is it possible that your heart can write the story that God wants to write? Can you please do a cross-examination of your heart this morning? All those things that are possibly going up and down in your heart. Can you present yourself to a holy God? The state of your heart, it will either attract God, it will either call God to give attention to you or it, it make you distasteful to God. Fix out all those things that are making your heart not to be fit for God to write his story. Now, discard those thoughts that is not in the word of God. Those thoughts that are not in synchrony with the word of God. Discard them and your life will be able to write the story that God wants to write. Let us pray. And let us tell it unto God this morning that Lord Jesus cleanse my heart circumcise my heart. Let my heart be free to write your story. Lord, let my heart contain your thoughts and the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our declaration this morning, O Lord of my salvation, King of my life, provider of all my provisions, 
I salute thee. My heart leap with joy to celebrate you. When I was pressed down with loads of sorrow, slander, and persecution, you help me and teach my feet to walk in the way of thy commandment. Lord Jesus, give me the power to live as your child in all my actions. In your presence, Lord, bring me to your house of glory and inscribe your glory on me anew in Jesus' name. According to your word, may the Lord hear me and succor me. For this is my accepted time. This is my day of salvation. Therefore, I am helped and preserved of the Lord, and I inherit the desolate heritage.